seconds remaining. Thank you very much, Shiva. Yes, third series of the day. It is Team Secret versus Team Empire. I'm Odie Pixel. I'm here with Fog. We've just seen the two lineups. We are getting sort of the treat of uh, of a mid one Kunkka. We've we seen are. it before here at a, at a Dream League LAN finals, and uh, it was very successful uh, yeah. last time around when we saw it. He's got he's, set too. He does. He's got that hat on. He's got this. The, uh, I've never seen oh, that, that weapon that's before. Nice right? weapon. Look at that weapon. Oh, look it's at his weapon. Ooh, very nice. But yeah, very uh, unorthodox but, kind of lineup coming sure, up. Secret but, in comparison. You look at Empire's very stable <laughs> stuff that we're used to seeing. It's that Death Prophet. Teams again. This Death Prophet is a fifth pick. Yeah. I mean that. That's got to be pretty good, a pretty good feeling if you're one of the teams getting a fifth pick Death Prophet through the through the draft like Empire. And he's versus a lone druid, right? So Spirit Siphon, incredibly good at all stages of the game versus that bear. So that can be pretty cool. So we're going to see what they can actually do of it. Uh, so for me, I'm looking at, of course, the mid one Kunkka. We'll get there right away. I actually yep. think, I really like the concept of the Kunkka versus Gyrocopter overall, because if you can actually, uh, in theory, right, if you can get your rum off as the Gyro uses Flak, you can be negating a lot of that burst potential, I mean, a lot of that the, the AP rum team is... fight. That so is uh, where the gyro thrives. So we, we just seen, be really cool. I mean, but recently we saw, obviously, at, at GSC, um, Lil on the, at the Kunkka was absolutely on point with their, just the ghost ship usage. I yes. think, well, that's what you got to look for. No, not just in the offensive capacity, but as you said, absolutely, especially in the early fights, uh, as the de defensive play. Because the, the thing is, using aggressive, sure, if you've got the setup, you're guaranteed to sort of hit one. Sure, if you get them off guard, you're going to catch three uh, or, or more. But the fact that it's so easy to just get your own team covered in these 5v5s, as you say, against the lineup from Empire, that's going to want to look to skirmish around the mid game. Uh, it can absolutely be fight changing. Yeah, secret though, greedy lineup, absolutely greedy because they have a you know they've got Lundra. Their catch is pretty minimal. They're really relying mostly on just this Kunkka getting out of control and then just them kind of just overrunning, being able to just five man versus Empire's. But Empire's lineup is incredibly strong at all stages. They have an immense amount of damage, lots of control, pretty much everything you'd kind of want, but in a draft. So we'll see if Secret can actually make this draft work. Let's have a look. Any sort of lanes that you expect we, we're going to see teams try and dodge? I mean, at the moment, what Ace is, is going up top, and he, he is on his own um, uh, in, in this matchup uh, against the Omni Knight, and we'll see. I mean, I, I guess you can leave him there, right? If you're secret. You don't really need to babysit this lone druid in this 1v1 early on. Yeah, they're just going to be moving around a lot. Yeah. I think they just have to make sure that Fada doesn't get completely zoned out bottom. Yeah. Because I, I think the lanes are pretty... They're pretty standard. You look at secret, they're going to have lone druid top. The supports are going to be moving around a bunch. Maybe Witch Doctor starts top, gets some pulls off, but... They want to be able to help Fada with this bounty hunter. Same thing in that mid lane. Puppy's all about this information on this bounty this game. Because versus Bane, you don't really want to be playing near the Bane as the uh, bounty hunter. You want to be make, forcing reactions and movements from the Earth Spirit. Keeping tabs on where that is. I see Ghost Stick is uh, hanging around here. We're seeing if you can maybe have a bit of a look in onto the room, but it's going to be hard with Ace having the backup of Yaps or for this bounty rune control. In fact, he could have managed to invade Empire's half the jungle here, so they will be able to claim themselves three. And Puppy's actually going to just uh, take the wave so that his Abaddon can actually get something bottom. I do like this play. We saw Puppy do the exact pretty much. I was going to say, yeah, this seems to be a thing that we're seeing people do rather than, as you say, the off laner sort of throwing his life down here to get the full pull around. Have their supports make this sort of this sort of selfless move and, and uh, just not sacrifice sort of the, the health of their offlane core. Mm -hmm. The Fada, like Will was saying, Fada's just trying to kind of try to be like that nuisance bottom lane. <laughs> Should be able to get something down here because of that pull. But Empire, they're going to try to meet it and do their best to deal with it. Puppy looking for some courier snipes. Not going to happen just yet. And mid FN should have a very good time versus this Kunk in the mid lane. But we're not used to seeing too much of that Kunkka core, so we're going to see what he can do. No. And as I said, we've seen mid one in the past. He knows what he's doing on this hero. Yeah. It uh, definitely seems to be a bit of a. Uh, a special trick that he likes to whip out now and then. Yep. Pressure coming out on Tefen. Torrent connects. Puppy's there as well, trading some hits. Mid lane. I'm going to go in. A lot of damage. Him. He's popped the fairy fire. Siphon as well, helping keeping him alive. And he'll be fine. Now Yoku. Yoku. He's now the one in trouble. And in fact, a couple more right clicks. That'll be it. it. First blood for mid one. As he gets the back of a puppy. FN still playing around. Let's be a little careful. As he's on health, he's got the stab out though. So, top top himself right up. Crazy amount of damage between the two of them in mid one. Since the creeps got under his tower, he was able to push the wave out too with that Tidebringer bit, so he had creep advantage there. So as soon as the Earth Spirit rolls in, lots of creeps hitting him. And top lane, the Apps will be starting up there, just making sure Ghost Stick doesn't have a fun time. Just getting right clicks out of the lane there once the Maledict's on it. We'll Let's be see if fine. Puppy 
and get this courier sniped. They are just hitting the courier actually at base for now. I mean, they've got, got the style. They, this, they can't let that happen. Absolutely. You, you just can't. When there's a bounty in the end. But we say that, but we see so many times pro teams sort of forgetting about Bounty and Surge. Bottom lane fighter will be going on. He's got the aphotic shield, but that is not going to be enough to keep him alive. Mapushka and Nyx fight through it and get Empire a kill onto the board. Power of the gyro. As soon as you hit two, most offlaners are at threat of dying. Even someone like an Abaddon, who's yep. normally uh, pretty resilient against that sort of damage. Look at mid one go in that mid lane. 13 and 5 to the 6 and 2 Death Prophet already. Having an excellent time. Tons of tangos too. They brought him, they gave him extra regen. He's brought a couple extras too. And almost with those phase boots. Time. Now, it's, it's just one of those heroes that if you know what you're doing in the mid lane, because of just, just fundamentally how, how the hero works with those early skill points, it, yeah. it's hard. Even if you're a strong laner like a Death Prophet, mid one could play around that on the Kunker. Yeah, if, with puppy having a look in on mid uh, If you're comment. very good at channel uh, at uh, toggling that Tidebringer, yeah. you can get so many denies, and that's exactly what he's been doing. Yeah, he's keeping it on, keeping the lane very hard for FN to play it. FN does have, of course, Shoku behind him. And he's going to need some help because they've made the opening. They get FN dragged back, and in fact, that Torrent will seal the deal. FN will fall. Not a lot that Yoku can do as he rolls in, as there is no helping that Death Prophet. FN really starting to fall behind in this mid matchup now. Yeah, Puppy with the perfect positioning there both times around. Helping out mid one to get those kills. Bottom. It does have the shield. See how much of a, a chase we go. In fact, Fat is going to turn towards Nyx. And Poshka has to put the Nightmare down onto the Abaddon. Make sure that that Gyro does not get run down. Yeah, Yapstor is already feel, feels like he's done his job top. They know they've shut down the Omni Knight quite heavily. And Ace is going to be going for that Dominator build. On that Lone Druid as we've been seeing more and more. And we're going to see this, yeah, be, be sort of responded to by Empire. They're sending Yoku down here as well. So there will be the, the two supports ready to fight against Fado and Yapsor. But at the same time, Secret, they mirror the movements themselves. Puppy's going to come down here. So we've now got a full 3v3 down in this bottom lane. You'll see he's going to kick it off first. The pings are out. Puppy is making sure you know where Maposhka is. They're, they're leaning in. Puppy's getting some good vision here on the two of them. Might try and lead in onto the, the Bane. Oshka comes back in. Bottle smash onto Yapsa. Will allow Gyoku to grab the rune. The life of Miposhka in trouble. He's near the neutrals, but they won't be able to finish him off. A secret to get the kill. Very nice rotation coming out from them. Just, yeah, as soon as Lone Druid's got a free lane, that's what we were talking about. As these supports have the freedom yeah. to move around I mean, the map. And he, he has more than a free lane. At 24 to 14 against the 10 for 2 of Ghosting. Ace is... I don't think he's missing a single one. I don't think so. Not just yet. Early days, but Secret starting to get that, that early farm advantage with these lanes. So far, Empire, yeah, to, to really be able to shake them up. They're going to try down bottom, going in on Safada, but Fada and Yapsor, they turn. It looks towards Yoku, who's got the Maledict on him. The right click's bringing him low. We'll be fine. Nyx trying to return fire as he looks towards Fada. Look at the them turning around. No fear coming out from Secret. Yoku just barely surviving that as he retreats back to base. So far, it's... It seems like in these first five minutes, Yoku's really struggling to find a lane where he can have an impact. There is, yeah, it, I mean, we haven't seen the decline a bit of that Earth Spirit because of that lane pressure. You can't actually do what you used to do because the main thing is that Earth Spirit in the, now, which we've been seeing, is you try to help that mid laner, but a lot of times you roll into tower. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and that's the, your mid laner, the mid laner, of course, being, being a Kunker. Yeah, Strength Hero, pretty tanky. And you roll in, there's always the chance of a Torrent turnaround with the slow time for people to TP in. But at bottom lane, as we've seen, that's a hard lane with the, with the core Abaddon and top. There's a lone druid. Sure, he's on his own, but good luck trying to get to the hero himself with the way that Ace is playing. Yep. Very hard heroes for, for Empire supports to gank. Mid one has had a two level advantage over the Death Prophet at one point. Look at this. FN just keeps getting hit by Tidebringer, forced to bring it salves constantly. I see it. Now, either the second or the third. I'm gonna look towards him. They do have Yoku here. Mid one's level six. It's it's just not a kill you're getting. Even if that slow hits, I, I doubt that it's no. going to happen. Especially with the boat. He can just turn. Yeah, yeah, he can just turn in boat, and then the rotations can come out from the rest of the secret uh, supports. Very scary for Empire in this middle lane. However, now mid one, he gets the boat up defensively. I mean, that's the thing. As soon as the boat's up, you know it's pretty much a kill you just can't take. He's up to the high ground. He's out of there. Puppy's actually coming in. He's having a look. We'll see the TP come through, so he doesn't want to reveal himself. Puppy, though, walked under vision of a sentry. They did, and they have the dust to follow up. Yoku looking towards him. Puppy, considering finishing himself to the Ancients here, I would imagine, as there are three heroes surrounding him. They punch through. Puppy. is wearing off. It is. Is it going to be enough to save him? Oh, they've got backup sentries, and Crypt Swarm will clip. Costly, though. That's a lot of gold and rotations committed. They spent them. They spent uh, dust. 
and a sentry to get that. He's only worth oh, 100. And I'm looking at this big old bear with seven minutes in. He's already brought the tier one down to half health. Yeah, he got the dominator before the five minute mark, so he's able yeah. to steal that wagon. I mean, this top lane is a massive disaster for Empire. All three cores of Secret are very early on getting ahead. Empire have got to find some way to to at least even out one of the lanes. They're looking towards Fada, but Fada's level six now. He's doing great bottom. Having this arcane rune now, he's able to spam the shields. 25 last hits. This was the lane that Secret was kind of like, okay, we're going to sack him a little bit, but Fada doing excellent with those movements coming up from the two supports. It's always, it's always the beauty about having the bear, like we were mentioning. The top looks like starting to make his first rotation. They want to secure this tower and maybe get some kills out of it. Stick. Not have repel available. Uh, they the actually get the courier too with the Tidebringer. That's ha that had somebody's boots on it and a couple TPs Radiant's and clarities. That's a costly death. Top. And now Ghost Stick. Now looking towards him. Close the gap. And he's got the purification. Boat coming in on top of the X mark. Ghost Stick without a point in repel. No way to play his way out of that. It's a 6k advantage at 8 minutes, Owen. Wow. We are seeing our so, so, uh, I think one that was, games today. Yeah, I think that was FN's boots as well, I as think well as some clarity. So he's now running around with just double null on this poor Death Prophet. Very easy for them to catch him. Here we go. They're going to try for Ace. Ball to smash lean in. Ace immediately goes for the TP out. They haven't got any way to cancel it. He's gone, and the bear's going to probably survive as well. Yep. Rick falls it away. Radiant Even Carty gets out alive. Is under attack. Oh my. Bottom lane. Fought it. He's just getting the chance to hit the tower. We were talking about how Secret looks like they have a greedy draft on paper, but they're making it work exceptionally with all these movements. Secret. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Not holding back at all this game. This is them coming up to the land, as we've, we've said. You know that the last previous lands, they normally make it out of the groups, get to the playoffs, and then sort of begin to falter. Already here, you can sort of taste how hungry they are to just get these wins in the bag uh -oh. and not mess around. They've got the boat follow up. Go for the nightmare. Oh, that's not going to save it. Nib one now on a killing spree. The armlet is pretty much there. In fact, with this tower, he should have it. This 10 minute armlet phase. That is a scary kunker. And dare I say, with the armlet at this sort of timing, this is absolutely a game where mid one may just not die. <laughs> he saw that glyph. The shield pops. He really wanted to get the last hit with the Tidebringers, but with the Tidebringer, but they do glyph and save the crews for now. But they lose this tower, and mid's also getting pressured as well. Ace is looking to go for that range launcher build. Let's see if Empire can find a killing response. They look towards Yapsaw, but look, the Nightmare taken off by Ace's bear, buying Yapsaw sometime. The boulder smash. It's off the mark. The Oku. He was shooting and trying to score. I don't know where he was trying to score. He got it onto the high ground at least near the engine. Unfortunate. I, yeah. A big miss. Must have very... used the wrong foot. <laughs> Very costly rotation, too. They really need to be getting these kills, too. Especially if they're going to be bringing the gyrocopter in the rotations, because it's level 6 on Nyx, and he's their strongest hero at this point because of how dreadful the mid matchup actually went for FM. Nyx, down bottom. He will pop the cooldown, but the combo comes in, and, you know, as we sort of said, once oh. that rum is out upon you, the rum you're not was dying. Off. The torrent was off the mark, though. The last two survive. Stroke a look there for Nyx. Mm. Uh, a misplay from mid bump. Puppy. Of course, she's trying to find that level six. So, I mean, this is the scary thing. Secret at a 7k lead, and this is before tracks online. Yeah. Radiant's Once tracks online. I mean, they're also they're starting to claim so many buildings as well. All the tier ones are taking. Tier two bottom is dead as well now. How can Empire just can't respond? They've just been. Radiant's completely destroyed in this laning phase. 9k advantage. Top tower That's a rough attack. one. They've got to look for something, but they've got to get something done uh, in terms of a big team fight with exorcism and cooldown. But yeah, they need they, they have to come into play. It just feels like you have to disable mid one, or just make sure mid one's not in the fight. If he gets the ult off, you just are not, you're not killing anyone that's covered in the run. Double dominators built up. Bada as well as Ace. One more creep wave, and he will have that six. Empire is grouping up now. They're going to go for this tier one siege, but at the same time, look at Secret. They're just responding, taking another tier two soon. 
But they decide to move. Nyx is coming in. He needs to be able to... I mean, they have to get kills with these rotations at Jarrow. He's level 7 on this safe lane. Everybody on this... All the cores on the side of Secret are just doing way better than him right now. And the X comes out. Yeah, I managed to look towards the bank. He is on the high ground, then, Maposhka. Will be able to keep himself fine. The flat comes out from Nyx. As they start to attempt to push back Secret. Fortification popped as well. The Torrent out onto Ghost Stick, trying to run forward, force back. It's Omni Knight and create the space to take another tower. 12 minutes in, and Secret have managed to claim two Tier 2 towers from Empire. It's devastating. Now, Nyx, there's, like, there's not really safe places to be on the map for the side of Empire. They've lost so much map control. This Gyro now, getting ran down. And this is the track online. So this is where we're going to start to see the big bucks really roll in. I mean, not necessarily in terms of kills, because of obviously how far behind Empire's cores are. That Gyro kill only granting mid one 200 gold. And look at this. The Catapult's just scouting out FN, too. They're just walking around, keeping it on top of him. They can't kill that catapult. He's like, okay, Omni's here, Death Prophet's here. <laughs> Look at this. Maybe, maybe if they're, if he's quiet, you know. Classy. Ghosty, Ghosty, why knows that? How can Empire take fights now at this deficit? It's actually so hard versus this Kunkka boat. And now, Secret just waltzes into the pit. They're just keeping tabs on Empire's heroes as well. Yep. Like, FN, FN, if he walks into this secret lineup, he's so squishy. Miposhka now gets X'd up again. The torrent this time, mid one does get it. Yeah, Miposhka's trying to outplay her uh, with the nightmare attempts, but yeah, as you say, mid one reads it, just torrents where he's at, he's at rather than torrenting at the uh, X mark spot. And with this Roche falling pretty safely with the bear tanking it, I don't know, Empire can have any sort of a looking on this. With that Roshan going down, the gold will be there for uh, mid one to have a 14 minute shadow blade on top of his armlet. He so wishes to finish off that purchase. And uh, any time a team gets a Shadow Blade against uh, a team that's already massively behind, it, it just becomes so so much worse. As the, you're a team that's behind in net worth, but you're now having to invest more and more in detection. And your your heroes are so weak at the moment. Everyone is like, the two big cores, the Death Prophet as well as the Gyrocopter, you're seeing at 1k HP. You look at yeah. Secret's lineup now yeah. at this point, this Kunkka is dealing a ridiculous amount of damage. Ooh, I'll, I mean, Ace, he's 8.5k net worth, he's just got his Maelstrom done. I mean, they won all three lanes. They really did. Pretty heavily. With the Maelstrom on Ace, you've got the attack range as well now. So he's ready to right click him. Look how mid one is. Mid one's gonna be hitting for like 300 damage with this cleave when he's got the armor turned on. And they're consistently just, they're, they're just throwing these uh, these dominated creeps and just running them through the jungle and constantly seeing where Empire's moving. Just there, they had uh, one of the small satyrs running through. Empire just starts trying to kill it, but then they re-dominate a new creep, so they don't even get any gold it's, from it. it. It's... I mean, it's... That, that, it's scary. That's something that I'm sort of surprised we don't see sort of more. As you say, just the use of the creeps to, to just act as sort of vision. You know, get... You know, there's a patrol command nowadays in Dota 2. Just get them moving around a jungle in a route. Puppy. And it gives you some very important information. He's fine. He gets booted down on the low ground, but he doesn't mind. He has teammates there. Ghostic and Nyx trying to force some sort of a reaction as they do come across onto this tier 2 top, but Secret, they're already outside the base of Empire. I mean, they've got Aegis. They could they definitely go for this high ground feature. They've got the Maelstrom finished on Ace 2. Can Empire stop this? They've got they've all got the weapons available. Them out. They cannot afford to lose their axe at 16 minutes in. Look at that. Now, so Tormentor's in, did have the Aphotic Shield upon him. Now look for the Nightmare, onto the Abaddon. They want to try and finish off at least the Bear. It's getting pretty low, and they will kill it. Get the 300 gold bounty, but it cost them the life of Ghosting. The boat's coming through. Oh, Yoku will get caught out. Mibon and Puppy right-click him down. He should tick down here to the end, and he does indeed. Miposhka gets the Fiends Grip off, but overall Empire, they've lost two. Miposhka, he'll be chased down by Puppy. They've got the X mark back from Mibon, dragging him in. Cast down Maledix out to FN with the Death Ward as well. Empire, they've lost three. They'll lose FN as well. Double kill for Yapsor. The track over. kills rolling in as well with that. There's a 14k lead. Add the racks on top of that. And they're just healing everybody up. They've got the Spirit Vessel. They've got tons of sustain. Even this X back to base comes back. Heals up a bit of well. They're not stopping. They didn't lose anybody. And everything was expended by Empire. And we're reaching it. We're at the 1k lead a minute. 
that we rarely ever see get turned around. I don't think there's any question whether this game's got a chance of being turned around with Secret playing as they are and at the speed that they have. This game one, Nyx will come forward. He's got the repel. He's just getting right click back here by Ace. The corner cool now, but where's the follow up? Yoku's going to try and lead in onto this. Looks to get the stun out, but he himself getting stunned immediately. FN oh, in the midst of it all. Tidebringer. And Yoku's gone. You're going to have to see Ghostick walk himself back to base. Maposhka gets first here rooted by the bear. The Bane's dead as well. The X mark combo on to the gyro. It's got to be over. over. It's, it's absolutely over. I th as I said, I thought we'd see some one sided games today. And it looks like we had wow. this was just on another level. And with that, GG is called. Secret. <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, yeah, it's like, when's the game start, lads? I mean, every, everything went, everything oh. honestly just went perfect for them there. They get the kills in the mid. Yeah. They get the courier when they make the rotation. Mid one's rotation is successful. They take the towers. Like, just everything went right for them.